No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. What's up guys, Sal here. So we know that Samsung and AMD are working together to build a custom GPU for Exynos chipsets. The Exynos 2100 was expected to have this new AMD GPU, but for some reason Samsung delayed it and later confirmed at the event that their next flagship product, meaning the successor of the Exynos 2100 would feature this new graphics from AMD. Galaxy S21 lineup features Exynos 2100, and for the first time in many years, Exynos users are not getting an inferior product. Yes, the graphics department is still a concern as the Mali GPU failed to beat the Adreno of the Snapdragon 888 as seen in the speed test from Gary V between the Galaxy S21 Ultra models. But the good news is, this will all change in just a few months. Not only the graphics on Exynos is going to be better than on Qualcomm's chipsets, but surprisingly, it's also going to be better than Apple's A-series chipset. We have GFX benchmark scores of both A14 Bionic chip from Apple seen on the latest iPhone 12s and the next unnamed Exynos chip with AMD GPU. And as you can see, A14's GPU scored these scores in the GFX benchmark, whereas the next Exynos chip secured these. The early results are really impressive and put Samsung ahead of Apple A14 by a significant margin. Apple's A series of chipsets continue to retain the top ranking when pure performance is the name of the game. That's especially true when it comes to graphics. So Samsung and AMD surpassing their latest and greatest chipset is really a big deal. Interestingly, the rumor also claims that the performance target of this AMD GPU can be increased further depending on the release timeline. But you also need to keep in mind that these results were likely obtained with the SoC running at unrealistic power targets, so reducing the wattage appears to be the current goal for Samsung and AMD for now. Also when Samsung announces this chipset in quarter 2 or quarter 3 of this year on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 or the rumored Galaxy Note 21 Ultra, it will go against Apple's A15 Bionic chip and not with the A14 chip. But nonetheless, if Samsung and AMD can keep these results on the new Exynos chip, then they can even comfortably surpass the A15 Bionic chips that will be seen on the iPhone 13 models. In any case, looking forward to seeing this new chipset in action after they optimize it further and hoping that these results are at least what we get in the final product. Speaking of collaborations, it's not only AMD that Samsung is partnering with, they're also working with Tesla to produce 5 nanometer chipsets for the electric car maker. According to a report from South Korea, these 5 nanometer chipsets will power the full self-driving functionality of Tesla's electric cars. By the way, Samsung is just producing these 5 nanometer chipsets. Tesla is still the one designing the chips for their vehicles. Also, Samsung has lowered the Galaxy S21 shipment expectations. Samsung sold 26 million Galaxy S20 units in 2020 and they are expecting the same with the Galaxy S21. This year, they are apparently expecting to ship 10 million base S21 units, 8 million S21 Plus units and another 8 million S21 Ultra units. Now, this doesn't mean they don't have faith in their latest flagships, but they are taking a cautious approach by closely monitoring the demand. They want to prevent overproduction and oversupply to avoid any losses, and they can gradually increase the production capacity as needed since they have all the production facilities in-house to do it. Of course, with that being said, let me know what do you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.